Hi everybody, my name is Jared Sabota, and I'm very excited to introduce you to my class, Vegetation and Plants for Games. I've been working in the video game industry for the last 10 years. I started my career as a cinematic lighting artist, but later transitioned to focus on environment art. I've worked on several different franchises, including the Batman Arkham franchise, the Uncharted franchise, including Uncharted 4, Uncharted Lost Legacy, and I also most recently shipped The Last of Us Part 2. I've worked at studios including Digital Domain, Bioware, and for the last seven years I've called Naughty Dog my home. During the six-week course, we're going to be exploring industry standard workflows to create current-gen vegetation and plants for games. We'll be exploring these workflows in Maya, Speedtree, ZBrush, the Substance Packages, and of course, Unreal Development Kit. After this course, I'm confident you'll have the necessary problem-solving skills to tackle almost any type of foliage. In week one of Vegetation and Plants for Games, we're going to go ahead and build out our concept reference board. We're going to go ahead and sculpt out our first leaf, which we're going to turn into our first plant atlas, building out the atlas inside of ZBrush to start off the workflow. In week two, we're going to go ahead and focus on texturing. We'll be texturing our plants inside of Substance Painter creating our first atlas and bringing it all the way to the game engine. Week 3, we'll be focusing on our focal point tree. We'll be jumping inside of speed tree to take a deep dive, starting with the largest shapes and moving down to the smallest shapes. Next, we'll be going ahead and making a tree bark inside of Substance Designer. During week 4, we're going to plan out our tree card atlas. We're going to execute its creation by modeling our high poly pieces out in Maya, speed tree, as well as ZBrush. Once we have these pieces created, we're going to lay them out as an atlas inside of Speed Tree. We'll then bake out our textures and we'll be able to go ahead and complete our tree canopy. In week 5, we're going to go ahead and utilize Speed Tree to help us make some ferns. We'll make a couple different variations. We'll also make some small leafy ground plants that will work great as small ground cover. We'll then get everything in engine and build out our gym. I'll provide a material for everybody to use so we can get really nice looking plants and a cohesive asset library. Lastly in week 6, we're going to go ahead and make some flower assets for our scene. We're also going to make some ivy that's going to work really great for populating around our tree. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and take a stab at the composition of our final scene, focusing on large, medium, and small details. Polishing our scene up at the very end to then take some screenshots of our completed scene. On a weekly basis, we'll have assignments that are due that put into practice what we've learned over the week. I'll provide comprehensive individual feedback for each student. This is also a great time for you to ask questions about your homework. Additionally, we'll have live Q&As where you're able to ask questions about our weekly lectures, and I'm also able to give live demos to continue with the extended learning process about our lectures. There's a lot to learn and not enough time in just the lectures, so it's nice to be able to continue that process in our live Q&As. If you're passionate about organics, vegetation, or just looking to pick up some new workflows, please don't hesitate to sign up today at www.cgmasteracademy.com. I very much look forward to working with you. See you soon.